I'm Céline Nippy. I'm based in Paris. Uh, I've been working for 15 years in high tech before to start investing in fashion tech. So it was roughly 10 years ago. And uh, then um, I started many initiatives around fashion tech at that time. First with uh, a project of incubator called the Fashion Tech Lab in 2010. But it was definitely too early. Market was not ready for that. And uh, around 2013, we launched Fashion Capital Partners, so one of the first dedicated uh, investment vehicle to, to fashion tech. So the, the goal was to invest in seed projects, many in France, but then only uh, in tech startups, but also in brands with the idea to um, bring to those guys uh, digital and innovation. So more recently, we, we launched Luxury Tech Fund. So with the idea to invest in luxury tech, fashion tech, beauty tech, and retail tech, uh, mainly in Series A, but also to continue to sustain some uh, seed, in, seed investment, and also sometimes uh, to look at more mature startups in pre-IPO like De Vialet or Vestia Collective we invested in. So we are just launching uh, Invest uh, with the uh, laser branch, uh, supported by the Conseil National du Cuir in France with the idea to invest in uh, any brands uh, using laser, so it could be accessories, uh, bags, or also shoes, but also in innovation and to, to look at new innovation really to shape this industry. Yeah, since we started, uh, I think what we first look at was uh, really on the retail uh, side, especially in the US. So there was new platform models coming uh, there. Gilt was one of the first. And then in Europe, uh, we saw uh, um, net apporté pop up. Uh, uh, it was, I would say, quite uh, ten, even more than 10 years. It was 20 years ago. Uh, 20 years ago. Um, and then uh, fashion tech really appeared uh, 10 years ago, um, with the idea to, to shape the industry, to provide new processes or to uh, new tech block or solution to the industry uh, on the whole value chain, uh, talking about new materials, new way of producing, new way of uh, 3D conception, for instance, or new way of communication and, and so on. Um, so those innovations, those technology started to, 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 to grow. Uh, but to be honest, I would say 10 years ago, even five years ago, it was very difficult for those startups uh, to find the right market because the uh, industrial corporate players were not ready uh, to work with them. And because they had to make their own digital transformation and startup was really the more relevant to provide innovation, they started to, to, to work together. And then um, the, 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 the movement, or they said the, uh, the raise of tech and embryos, um, B2B startups really started two, three years ago because they had in front of them a uh, corporation they could collaborate uh, with. On our side, what we look at, and I think it's really reflect uh, the market, is uh, so those tech and embryos, uh, new business models, and uh, combined with platform, uh, because also the uh, the way to con to consume has really changed, and uh, there's a new approach uh, to even the ownership, for instance. So we are really interesting in. Uh, pre-owned uh, item models, uh, rental models, or on-demand models. So that the kind of uh, new business models that we are looking at. Uh, we are even looking at uh, brands, but with a really tech and digital approach. So in, in their DNA, um, yeah, they, they have to have, from the beginning, a real understanding, being even uh, more customer-centric of or to address the market based on all the data they could collect for, for collect for instance. At the end of the day, fashion tech it's quite large. So you have B2B startups, you have platform, new business model, uh, you have uh, even what we call direct to consumer brands. 
And uh, more recently, uh, with the new, uh, I would say, envi environmental transition, so uh, post-digital transition, um, there's interesting to look at on, on this um, on this side. I mean, on new materials, alternative to uh, leather, for instance, even if uh, we are strong uh, supporter of, uh, of the leather industry, but there's a way to combine both of them. Um, new way of producing, new way of dyeing, for instance, with a more eco-friendly approach. So, yeah, we are really in the middle of something new. I, I, what I would say, it's uh, we are really uh, um, not in the middle. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, at the beginning, because uh, digital transition, I think, is roughly uh, made, and the environmental transition is really a huge challenge. And innovation, I'm pretty sure, will be uh, the only way to find solution to address uh, this uh, uh, new challenge.